Sorry to hear about Carmine, you know, he was, uh, he was a good man. Nah, you live with a person 21 years, and one day, they're pulling his torso out of the river. It's hard. I bet. Especially with all the talk about, you know, you being the one who put him in there. I, that's why I try not to gossip, Paul. It's ugly. It's just a sec. Michelle! Teresa! It's 10.30! Stop fucking around and get ready for ballet! It's hard being a single parent and a career woman. Yeah, I'm sure you're very busy. The pressure. It's awful. For instance, a lot of people think, now that you're out, you're gonna try and take the family back from me. But I said, no, no. Paul would never do that. By the way, how are Marie and the kids? Still in Ohio? In Shaker Heights? At 1356 Locust? You even go near them, you crazy bitch. Don't make me call my guys in. You may need the shit kicked out of you, but not in here. I just mopped. <laughs> wow, have you been working out? Yeah. I've been working out who's trying to kill me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Mm, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. No one's gonna be safe unless we end this thing with the Brigazis. So then you didn't have nothing to do with it? Oh, Paul. You actually think that I would kill you? All these years we've known each other. The Christmas parties, the fun times at the beach. Wouldn't be right. I want us to be friends. Who knows? Maybe we'll be more than friends. You wanna lick my beaters? Thanks. Uh, I gotta see a guy about a business thing. What kind of business? You know, you get something going. We would expect some kind of consideration. Little taste. No, this is a legitimate business. Oh, Paul. I just gotta chill. I just wanna be left alone, okay? Put my life back together. Straight up this time. Put the word out, will you? Nobody's got nothing to worry about from me. Sure, Paul, sure. I understand. Don't be a stranger. Mm-hmm. How long have you been head of your family? Oh, I don't know. Officially or unofficially? Well, uh, I guess officially, like when Carmine died. No, it's been maybe a year now. Man, time flies. So what was the transition like from being basically Carmine's wife to being head of the family? Oh, you know, it was a lot of proving yourself and showing that a woman can function in a man's world, you know, all that junk. I had no problem. It, it's really, it's just juggling being career woman and a working mom. Single mom now, too. What uh, makes you, uh, what attribute or quality do you have that makes you successful in business? I'd say uh, probably my methods of uh, persuasion. And what are those methods? You know what they are. Well, I, I, I think- We're both I, women, we, you know what they are. Yeah, I think I can guess. You can guess, you got, you got a pretty good imagination there. How's your relationship with your daughters? Oh, teenagers, they're, they get to that age and they're always acting up, always wanting to do this and that. You know, it's, it's hard, but yeah, we're, we're working on it. We're doing our best. Wish they would listen to me for more than one damn second, but what are you gonna do? And how do you wanna be remembered? <sighs> Ain't being remembered just enough? Meant you left an impression in their mind. Okay. Thank you very much. Vidi.
uh, you, you're head of your family and then you were ill for a while. You had uh, panic attacks. Yes, ma'am. And then you made a deal with the feds and now you're out of jail and you're on probation. Uh, what have you been doing to keep yourself preoccupied and stay in the legal zone, so to speak? Yeah, look, just trying to, you know, start a new life, you know, trying to take care of my family. You know, it's, it's not, it's not as maybe easy, you know, going this route. I'll admit that. But, um, you know, you do what you got to do for your family. So, you know, I'm looking into some other business ventures, you know, taking the money that I have and, you know, just maybe investing it here and there, you know, trying to, you know, keep my family, you know, uh, I hate to see their lifestyle change, you know, despite my, my transgressions, you know what I mean? So I heard the rumor that you want to go, you know, completely legit. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't like ending up in the clink no more than anybody else. And, you know, it's, I can't, just can't handle the stress, you know, it's just, it's just maybe not, maybe not the right choice for me. And you're still seeing your therapist? <laughs> I mean, kind of have to, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's all right. You know, I go, you know, once a week, maybe it's nice to have somebody to talk to that, you know, sure. How do you want to be remembered? Hey, look, you know, I don't need to go out some big grandiose, you know, but I just want people to know me as, you know, a guy that looked out for his family. You know. Okay. Thank you very much.